Good morning, everyone. It is currently 6, 11 a.m. right now, which is why we are filming in the dark. Today, I am gonna be showing you everything that I cook for my two-year-old son. I also wanna thank KiwiCo for sponsoring this video. I will chat about them in a little bit, but for now, we have to make breakfast because he'll be up in like the next 30 minutes. This morning, I'm gonna make a couple of his favorites, starting with some pancakes. So in a blender, we're gonna peel two bananas, two eggs, half a cup of milk, one and a half cups of oats, and then two teaspoons of baking powder. Then we just let it blend. Okay, and since we are making mini pancakes, I'm gonna pour everything inside this little squeezy. It just makes cleanup a lot easier. Also with this batter, you can make waffles as well. So the batter is now complete. I'm also gonna be making him a little rolled egg omelet. In a separate bowl, I'm gonna crack one egg, and then I'm just gonna whisk it. Let's start frying everything. So on a pan, I'm just gonna throw some butter. And then with the batter, I'm gonna just start dotting little tiny pancakes. Also, I realized that uh, if you wanted to sneak some vegetables in, throw some spinach in, but I forgot to get some at the store, so. That's not happening today. So you're just gonna let these fry until you start seeing bubbles at the top. And that is when you know it is time to flip them. Okie dokie, these pancakes look done. And I think what I love about this dish is that it is incredibly easy to make. And if you don't wanna use the rest of this, you can just put it in the fridge and cook some more tomorrow. And then now we're going to reset because we're gonna cook the eggs. This will only take less than a minute to cook. All right, egg kiss the pan, let's flip it, turn off the heat, that is it. So we've got the material here. The egg, I'm gonna do like a nice little rolled egg omelet, which he loves. I'm gonna just cut it into little strips like such. And now let's plate this sucker. For the main dish, I'm gonna put some mini pancakes. And then for this compartment over here, I'm gonna add the egg omelet. And then in this corner, blueberries. And there we have it folks, breakfast is served. You wanna have your Becky? Yeah. yeah, okay. So here we have some mini pancakes. What's this, Lennon? Becky. Yeah, here is a cup of milk. You could even put the pancakes inside the milk and it'll taste really good. Ooh, mm -hmm. pancake, yeah. So, before I made lunch, I wanted to set up Lennon's little play area. Luckily, our KiwiCo Panda Crate just arrived in the mail. This is a subscription box that comes every other month, and I always get so excited opening this up with Lennon because it's just so cute seeing like the joy in his face. So this is designed for ages zero to 36, and inside we've got two months worth of products and information that is specific to your child's current developmental stage. So we've had a subscription to KiwiCo for the majority of my son's life because it is such a convenient way for us to mix up his toys and for him to really explore these new skills with his growing mind. So with that said, shall we open this Panda Crate? Cute! So for this Panda Crate, the theme is colors! If you're an info junkie like me, you're gonna love the cards that explain what exactly is happening and also what these activities are meant to do. So first we have this cute little color matching game. So that way Lennon can practice coordination and matching. All my fellow parents know that our child is constantly changing every single day. And so it's just so convenient knowing that KiwiCo does all that extensive research for you on what might be interesting for our kiddos during this specific phase of their growth. Next up, we have this color station, which explores mixing with these transparent paddles and a sturdy wood stand. Each one of their products is designed with high quality materials, so it's got longevity, baby. This will also be such a cute hand-me-down for my niece, who will probably enjoy this as well. 
And finally, we have the Color Lab set. Now Lennon can be a little scientist and mix colors to see what happens. I feel like the most overwhelming thing about being a parent is just the avalanche of information of what's good for your kids, what's not. But KiwiCo really streamlines things because they work very closely with childhood development experts to carefully craft and test each product in the KiwiCo Panda Crate. I love that it's backed by science and it's safe. I'm also really stoked that KiwiCo is something that Lennon can grow with. Like once he graduates from the Panda Crate, there are nine other subscription lines that really cater to whatever your kid's interested, whether that's science or art. So if you guys are interested in trying out KiwiCo for yourself or like gift this to a friend that's a parent, definitely use my code JENIM for 50% off your first month. I will also leave all that information in the description box. There's gonna be a link there, so click it if you are interested. All right, let's make some lunch now. All right, folks, on the menu for lunch, we have my ground turkey alphabet stew. This is also one of those meals that you just make in bulk, and then you just keep it in the fridge or freezer and heat it up when it's time to eat. All right, so let's get cracking. Everything begins with an onion, of course. So I'm gonna use half of an onion. I'm just gonna dice it. So I'm gonna be using a food processor to help really pulverize it. If your toddler is anything like mine, he avoids vegetables like the plague. So the key is to just mush it. Peel two big carrots. And I make this pretty chunky and then throw them in the processor. Okay, transfer this all into a bowl. And then finally, I've got three celery stalks, which I'm also gonna throw right into the processor. All right, hard part is done. Now let's fry this. All right, grab the biggest pot you have, put it on high. I'm gonna add a bit of oil. Now we're just gonna cook everything all together. Another reason why I love this soup is because I love eating it as well. So me and Lennon both really, really eat this together. Now cook this on medium to high heat for around seven minutes until everything gets like nice and mushy. That's what we're going for. Let's season this with some salt and pepper. Okie dokie. This is looking really good. Now it is time to add the ground turkey. Plop it in and just really pulverize it. I'm gonna season with some Italian herb blend. And now I'm gonna add a spoonful of veggie stock. Yeah. Now I have some hot water. And I'm just gonna cover everything, all the contents inside the pot and maybe a little bit more. But honestly, add as much water as you want because that's how much soup you'll get. I'm gonna put it down to like medium low. I'm gonna add one bay leaf. I would, I, I would honestly, I would put it on low heat actually. Yeah, low heat. And then just let it cook for 15 minutes. This is just to marry all the flavors together. I got a smaller pot, boiled some water. I'm gonna add some salt in it. Now I'm going to boil the alphabet pasta. If you're in like a pinch for time, obviously you can just throw the noodles inside the actual stew. The pasta looks like it's done. I'm gonna turn this off. Let's check on the soup. Wow. Okay, let's get rid of her. Thank you for your service. Now we're gonna add the pasta in. Now we're just gonna mix this all up. All right, should we have a little taste test? Wow. Mm-hmm. Absolutely delicious. Now we just need to serve this up and we're ready to go. In the main compartment, we'll put the soup in. And then in this compartment, I'm just gonna add a couple of little bits of shredded cheese string. And then in the last compartment, some quartered grapes. All right, and we're all finished with Lennon's lunch. Are you ready? It's your veggie alphabet soup. We've got some string cheese and some grapes, uba. For dinner, I am making Lennon's all-time favorite meal, takbukumtang. If you've been watching this channel, you have seen me make this recipe, but this is my toddler version. It's not spicy whatsoever, and every time he will eat this. Breakfast, lunch, or dinner. Again, this is a meal that I just make in bulk, store in the fridge, and when he's hungry, when I'm hungry, we can all eat it. First, I'm gonna dice half an onion. 
I'm going to transfer all of this in this pan. Then you're gonna get an obscene amount of garlic and then add this to the pan. For the protein, I'm gonna use chicken drumsticks. I'm gonna pour enough water so that everything kind of covers. I think I did like two big glasses of water. This is gonna make for a delicious broth. And then for seasoning, I'm gonna do two tablespoons of soy sauce. Normally with takbukumtang, you add like gochujang and like Korean peppers, but this is a two-year-old we're talking about. That's gonna be a little bit too spicy. So we're going, we're opting for something a lot more gentle. So phase one is complete. Let's heat this on the stove for 20 minutes. So while that's cooking, let's make ourselves useful and start peeling the sweet potato. Normally, you're supposed to use like regular potato for takbukumtang, but Lenin loves sweet potatoes. Like fun fact, he doesn't really like potatoes, but he will eat sweet potato. So we are catering to him. All right, sweet potatoes peeled. I'm just gonna cut off the edges here. I'm gonna cut it in half. Ah! All right, so now that we have quartered the sweet potato, I'm gonna use my handy dandy crinkle cutter so that it's kind of like a fun textural shape. Kids really like this. So we've got the sweet potatoes done. Off camera, I just washed some bok choy and then we're pretty much all done prepping. All right, my friends, it has been around 15 minutes. Woo, that looks freaking delicious. All right, this is a good time to add the sweet potato. The thing with this recipe is that the chicken comes out so succulent every single time. I think it's because it's surrounded by moisture. And I'm just gonna let it cook for another 10 minutes. Woo, things are popping off. Wow, okay. I feel like this is a good time to add the bok choy. It doesn't take long. And then cover, see you later. Five more minutes tops and we are done. Ooh, this is looking pretty much done. Heat off, spoon out. Moment of truth. Ooh! It's delicious. All right, so in this panel, I'm gonna put some fresh, delicious rice. I'm actually gonna do Lennon a favor and I'm going to chop up the chicken so that it's easy for him to eat. This one is gonna go right over here. The sweet potato in this corner over here. He's definitely not gonna eat the bok choy, but they say a kid needs to try something at least 12 times before they know they like it. So here we try again. We just keep trying. There we have it. Dinner is served. <laughs> High five. We did it. Yeah. You're sharing with Chiki? You're sharing with Chiki?